best known for being a big fan of... Order! Order! Speaker John Burko can be found in the middle of warring MPs from both sides of the House. He has vowed to stand in the way of Boris Johnson to prevent a no-deal Brexit. But what actually is the role of the Speaker? Let's go right back to the beginning. There's been over 150 speakers over the years, with the first one recorded as being a dude named Sir Thomas Hungerford. And back then, the job was a bit different to Burko's position now. Traditionally, the role meant not actually speaking at all, but instead they chair debates and acted as an agent for the monarch. In fact, as many as seven speakers were beheaded before 1535 for delivering news from Parliament that, well, didn't really go down too well with the King. Today, the modern role of the Speaker means setting aside any party affiliation from the moment they're dragged to the chair. <laughs> and remaining neutral about policy. So, how is the Speaker elected? Well, essentially, if there's a general election, a retirement or a resignation, the new Speaker will be elected by a secret ballot of MPs. But if the person currently holding the post wants to keep their job, they can be reappointed by a motion passed from the majority of MPs. So what does the role actually involve? It's about the speaker, the role of the speaker, the speaker being the umpire, the speaker being the referee, the speaker being the adjudicator if there is any dispute. So if there is a lot of noise, I will tend to say, order, the house must calm itself. Simply put, the speaker is in charge of what goes on in the House of Commons. They're in charge of making sure that nobody bends or breaks the rules of the house, like not actually being able to say anyone's name. My right honourable friend, the right honourable member. The right honourable gentleman. My right honourable friend, the honourable gentleman. My right honourable friend. The Speaker is the safeguard of Parliament, which is especially important now as no party seems to hold a majority. And to keep the peace, Burko bellows his trademark. Which at one stage even became a viral meme. Order! It's intended to do just what the word says restore order, because it's only in circumstances in which there is a basic attentiveness and respect in the chamber that we can have a proper debate. In addition to keeping the order in the House, the Speaker also chooses which amendments will be debated and can decide to hold emergency debates, like the ones held over Brexit. But with all the chaos surrounding the UK's departure from the EU, Burko has become the defining figure of just how much the role has changed from its traditional roots. In the past, Burko's ruled out a third vote on Theresa May's deal, because it wasn't different enough from the last. But whether Burko will play a part in stopping the UK from leaving the EU without a deal remains to be seen.